Hey everyone, I'm Tracy. I'm Bianca. I'm Anne. And this is Beyond, Beyond the, the Plot. Plot. Welcome to the very first episode of Beyond the Plot. So, what made you guys want to start this podcast? Well, whenever we go out or even just drink or just hang out in your place or whatever, the topic always goes back to, you know what? Our conversation could so be a podcast. It always goes to that at the end of the night, even if we don't really remember mm -hmm. what we talked about. That's true. I feel like we get a lot of breakthroughs also. Like, especially, like, I'm an external processor so when i talk with you guys like i feel like i earn a lot of knowledge just by speaking mm, right? kind of like because it's being like repeated again yeah mm -hmm. and so like it makes me more aware so it's actually like pretty fun but some of the things i end up like forgetting you know, that's exactly why i was kind of like worried to ask you guys again if you were actually like down to do this because i knew that all the times we talked about it we were like Drunk. Yeah, but then always in the back of my head, I was always like interested in the idea of like doing a podcast. I do listen to a few, and you know, it's, it seems fun. All right, what if I never like brought it up again? Yeah, I don't think I would have like well, suggested it. Yeah, neither would I, because I think that starting the podcast would never be my first thought or like asking to start mm -hmm. a podcast i think it's not even in our comfort zone like we have other things to do yeah that's why so like last year i had too many things to do so obviously this wasn't the first on my list to actually start but the timing of it was when i had more time in my life so i mean why not but yeah. i don't think i would have suggested it we do talk a lot even even we do. not we do on any like yeah just we're just sitting down in your room mm -hmm. that's all we do literally Definitely. that's what we were doing Right before filming this. Right. right. <laughs> We're yeah. just talking, sitting down, you know. We all talk a lot, like all the all time. All the time. Yeah. I wasn't really ready to do it, but then I was like, why not? Same, right? honestly. I feel yeah. like I'm never really like ready to do anything. For real. But then That's like so at this point, I was just true. like, you know what? Let's just go for it. I've never really like had the confidence to like do it myself. And it made it so much easier because you guys were also down for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so. we're, we're pretty much the same wavelength, so we kind of get each other also, and the conversation just eventually flows. Right, we're not I, like I want memories also. <laughs> yeah. So true. Yeah, because as I said, like, I usually forget things, and sometimes we do have breakthroughs. Like, mm -hmm. I, I realize stuff, I discover stuff. Yeah, when you think then, back on it, right? Yeah, yeah, and you think back, I'm like, what was, what, what happened? And then you kind of remember it, but not, not detailed, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like... It's like vague. Yeah, mm -hmm. just vague. So I think this... This is nice to look back at. It gives us like an outlet to just talk as much as like right. we Definitely. want to write about like random things. Shit. What if we end up just agreeing on it, everything? I don't know how many times I agreed already in this, <laughs> in the how many minutes that passed. Dude, I don't know how many times like I agree with you guys, so, like just like generally. And even if we it's don't agree like, yeah, yeah. to a certain point, we still end up like understanding our perspective you know what i mean like we're not narrow-minded like yeah, exactly yeah. we're not closed-minded either yeah you know we talk about everything and listen to people or each other which is why our conversation always flows because like we don't really shut each other down which mm -hmm. is something many many people should learn like you know when someone's talking about something like and you don't really agree you don't have to shut them down like you can actually just oh, I see, like, oh, that's your perspective and kind of yeah. see it from their perspective because yeah. that's how you can actually grow instead of just like, you know, oh, I disagree. Yeah, and you can always say, yeah, I, yeah, I don't agree with you, but, you know, but yeah. this is how I see it and this mm -hmm. is where yeah. I stand. Exactly. But then yeah. I, don't, I don't, like, look down or think of you in a different right. way because you think in a different way. Right. You know? Although, I mean, sometimes I can't okay. help it. You... You do kind of want to be like, really? You think that way? But at the end of the day, it's it, kind of it like... It varies, you know, yeah. yeah. I, I, Different I, I, people, it, whatever. Yeah, I think it boils down on the values. Like, that. you know, like, you might think some of the values... Like, for example, if they talk about something pretty degrading, varies, like, you're, yeah. you're acting kind of condescending in that way, so... Mm -hmm. Then, and yeah. like the way that you would like approach a situation yeah. and it's like rude or offensive and it's just like, all right. Yeah, like, then, then I might judge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, f I feel that. That's when you can be like, yeah, okay, maybe the way you think is not it. Yeah, or like yeah. not for me. Right. Yeah. You can tell some of the truth, but then it really goes down to like how you say it also. I could tell you something and like just say it straight up, be rude. That's not going to make you like feel good, right? Right. But if I like tell you in a way that doesn't sound like 
I'm judging you or doesn't sound like I'm sh- shitting on you, mm-hmm. then, I mean, it would just be like a critique, right? Yeah. No right. And so. so if your self-esteem is not that low, then, you know, critiques are good, actually. Mm-hmm. You can look at it at, in a neutral yeah. way and be like, oh, I see. I could, I could probably improve this. It's like constructive. Right. Yeah, constructive. Yeah, but that doesn't work on everyone also. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, <laughs> like, if I'm really, like, yeah. pissed or, if, like, I'm in a mood and someone tries to tell me or, like, call me out, in the moment, I'm not going to take it well because I'm, I'm already, like, angry, right? But then, like, later on, like, if I think about it and I really, like, kind of try to process it, mm-hmm. then I end up kind of going, like, you know what? Like, yeah, th- like, they have a point. Like, I was being, like, a certain way also. Mm-hmm. I think it depends on the relationship also that you have with that certain person. Because, like, that if I, I didn't know the person or the person definitely... I, I don't so think insulting. I would react the same as if, like, yeah. with my best friend. Like, if it's some random person doesn't know me trying to correct me in some way doesn't even know the context and obviously I might react like who are they to even say something about you so it it does depend on your on Mm -hmm. your emotions on your current state and Mm -hmm. who they are (laughs) totally agree yeah definitely yeah I'm like I think I'm killing it now you're killing it so much I'm kind of afraid you're gonna go to jail honestly (laughs) (laughs) That's a joke for legal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we actually had this conversation earlier because I was doing this sign and Tracy was like, that seems insulting. And I was like, actually, if you turn your palm around, that's actually insulting in other countries. So apart from the relationship, mm-hmm. I think also kind of what you said, I think the way you say it, because before when I was younger, I was very unfiltered. Like me, if I like too genuine, if that's, you can say that. I don't know. If I just say genuine. Or I don't know. I just, just pretty blunt, blunt, like super blunt. But that's teenage angst, maybe. I, I grew up in Spain. <laughs> Everyone's super blunt. Like your teachers, you don't even call them Mister or Sir or whatever. It's just really their name. Their name's Antonio. Antonio. So it's really if what you're you're thinking, you really say it. And I feel like that was so normal to me. But then I realized as I got older, like I, I had to turn it down a notch. But I think you were one of the few people that told me, like, be, like... Like, I know what you mean, but... <laughs> Yo, because you'd be, like, crazy sometimes. <laughs> like, dude, like, chill. Like, the things you said. They were all a little older and a little yeah. calmer now, I think. Yeah, I think it's been... Like, I agree, though. When I was a kid, too, yeah. I would just say things. But I was, like, late teens. Like, like I'd say, I'd say even early twenties, still pretty. Dude, unfiltered. I was gonna say yeah. like even like early adulthood, <laughs> yeah, or like the start of like being an like an adult. I I would still say like things or like do cringy stuff that I think today are like cringy. Oh yeah, right. But then I think that that shows so much. Like, or, okay, not so much, but it shows some growth for like me to not look at my past self and go yeah like that's that's fucking awesome you know mm-hmm. like the fact that I'm looking at my old self and going like oh, like why did I do that kind of like I think shows that I've definitely learned or I don't know definitely I still make my fair share of mistakes yeah but then there's still learning in mm-hmm. that you know I mean we I don't think we ever stop learning even yeah. if like we're not in school anymore like every single day I think that we're like constantly just like learning more and more whether it's like like educational stuff or just yeah. like how to deal with life and like emotional things and people and ourselves that right. happens a lot when we when we talk to each other too mm-hmm. we're just like oh learn something new today I right think that's those right. are the those yeah. are my favorite moments yes yeah, actually yeah so question so you guys think are are people really capable of change yes yeah i don't know why i took too long but yeah definitely mm-hmm. but i think that if you're an adult and like you're only capable of like true change if you actually want it for yourself as well. And I think it, yeah. you have to build the habit also because I feel like yeah you can have the want to change, mm-hmm. and, but it's gonna be difficult, especially if you have to unlearn things. You have mm-hmm. to keep repeating yeah. it. It takes a and lot of yeah. dedication. Correct. And like that discipline every day, <laughs> to be able to change and to go for what you want to be or like what you right. think you should be doing or you know. But then, yeah. Right. So if change. I did things. Years ago, guys, you know, I've changed. <laughs> yeah, if I ever did something that was so cringy, I'm so sorry, I swear. If I was lame, <laughs> I'm not lame anymore. 
I'm still lame. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm, I I'm am. still lame too. I'm still lame. <laughs> <laughs> like obviously, mm-hmm. yeah, we have the same sentiments about if we can change. It's not easy. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. I think not easy. we agree on a lot of things that like have to do with like, like general like moral stuff. I guess, or I don't know. Would change like wanting to change be like under like moral. morality and sh- though? Probably not. Actually. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm I think you mean like our values. Maybe. Oh yeah, values. Yes. Values. values. I mean values. There we go. Thanks, Beyonce. Yeah. There you go. I'm like a dictionary. <laughs> I... Are you? <laughs> Any word? <laughs> Any word? <laughs> yeah. Just you an open book. To this out. one. <laughs> uh, yeah, but let's do the the language dictionary. No, everything's a language dictionary. Never mind. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, oh, the um, <laughs> a bleep like those <laughs> dictionaries that like translate from language to yeah, language. Can, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. 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 Yo, Next. the one that I had growing up was like the Tagalog to like English one. Oh yeah, because Tagalog like, to English and then English to Tagalog mm-hmm. in the other half, right? I don't know if like any of the sentences like I constructed like made sense, but like like words wise they made sense. But if you read it, it was probably like probably like made no sense. Probably the verbs were like. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I feel like Tagalog, also the verbs are like... It's you have so to confusing. Like, yeah, you had, I, I remember someone telling me like it, it, it was the only language that had like a suffix and a prefix to change. Like, you know, usually it's oh, really? just like a pre... It's like a prefix. I don't know. I, I need to fact check this, guys. No, no, like when they... Know. I don't know. Right. I don't know I if think. it's like every language, but the fact that like... Like you... Like repeat stuff at the start, right? Yeah, you do. Like, There's a lot of repetitive Right, that things. one. Gosh, I really like. Like, there's a prefix there's like to the prefix, word. or what do you call that? There prefix. should be a term for that. I'm a pre prefix, a pre prefix, yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, how how many times do you repeat like the syllables? You know, it I think confuses it me. never goes beyond like three. Oh, All right. So three is the limit. Actually, maybe two might be the limit. Yeah. I have no clue. I was really bad at Filipino. I must stick school. to Bisaya. My first day of school, I had no idea what anyone was saying. But I laughed when they laughed. In college, right? Mm-hmm. I think the laughter does a lot. Because sometimes, you know, I can probably, you know, my brain's probably not there. Sometimes someone's talking to me like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. Right, if they're smiling. laughing, you think that. It's okay, but you can with see, you. See, that was a skill that I had to learn. Because, like, <laughs> before, I'd, I'd be so stoic, like, just look like that. <laughs> so, like, I was, imagine someone's talking to me. I'm just like. Dude, oh you're gosh. still like that sometimes. Yeah, I am. Like when I'm nervous. <laughs> you like, still do that? Yeah, I still do that. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, when I'm yeah. nervous. She does that I, with I'm, us. I'm yeah, like she does stoic. do that with us. And there's yeah. no way she's nervous around us. Yeah, she's I just think thinking. Are she's you, deep are you in a little nervous around us? <laughs> I mean, you can be. Maybe. You can be, I mean, if you want to. Maybe. I would find it or like, not. a little bit weird. <laughs> I think maybe when I'm tired. Maybe. <laughs> when you're tired, you're nervous. No, when I'm tired. She's a stoic when she's tired. Okay, okay. Like, m- the facial expressions are not giving, you know? Nor oh. the hand movements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, I'm none. sorry about the hand there's movements, none. guys. Yo, yeah. sometimes you're just like... <laughs> you talk better when you, you know, <laughs> apparently. The, I had to hold... You know, sometimes I hold my hands, actually, because, like, I, I really, like... Sometimes you, people no, think I'm going to slap you? them. Yeah, sometimes I really, like, do this, Yo, actually. that's the sound of music. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I really hold my no. hands sometimes. Cause like, like this, she, talks like this i've never seen you do that do you actually yeah i do that sometimes especially when i'm, I'm kind of nervous and all I this one i think i've seen this that one, one yeah. i've never yeah. seen okay no no this is a little wild <laughs> this one's like like you're gonna start singing like <laughs> something <laughs> the <hell's>? never mind. <laughs> <laughs> with the sound of you oh. <laughs> as long as like my hands are like held no because in spain also everyone see like speaks like that. Oh, like that. I, thought I was know, like, like this thing. I was like, this <laughs> like is a Spanish thing. No, no, I, I learned that here. Cause like, oh, you know, what? like cause sometimes I feel like imagine like I'm just like super blunt and my hands are like uh-huh. all over your face. So like, let's see. So dude, your hands are always like ready to wrap. You're just like <laughs> really though. <laughs> like any second, like whenever bar. she sings gasolina. Oh yo. When did I do that? Then I don't well, think I've when? ever done that. Like. So many times, many ti- right? Exactly. <laughs> many, many times, Bianca. Many, really? Many times. <laughs> she's like, when? she's asking so seriously too. Yeah, like, <laughs> and this I is feel thing. gaslit. You, you guys, gaslit, gaslit, gaslit. I don't know. Whatever. Same. I feel like what you're saying about me, though. I don't think much people will believe it because you know when you don't know me, don't I look like kind of like 
fucking stoic also. You know, look at her right? trying to really be serious. She's like, yeah, I don't I think people are going to believe oh, me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying people are not going to believe you. Oh, no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, not me. her. Yeah. You. But then, like, for the people who, like, have actually hung out with you and, right. like, know you, they're going to be like... Right. I think it, it's the, it takes them a while, but though. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, okay, that's Bianca. But I think the first time, like, I feel like I just look like... Stoic. Yeah, kind of... Right, because you have little, little, your, like, RBF, RBF resting RBF, RBF, right, the face. Definitely. Right. Yeah, even when I meet people the first time, I think I'm so nervous that I'm so quiet that I just seem like I'm... Kinda, Yo, that's, that makes sense. like, yeah. one thing that actually worries me because, like, I'm pretty shy and I'm... I'm an introvert, right? Let's not fight about this. <laughs> um, I'm an introvert, I don't think she and is. you know, me when we're out, I'm yeah. so like, like hi, me my name is Tracy. Like, Let's hey. be friends. I'm all right. No, <laughs> I'm an introvert. I don't know what you guys like. I don't care what you guys say. Why I'm an are introvert. You pretending, uh. <laughs> dude. I am. <laughs> okay. So okay, you know what? Let's pretend like you you don't know me, and I'm telling you right now that I'm an introvert. I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So because. I'm an introvert. I always think that... Do not. <laughs> I didn't say anything. All right. Because I'm an introvert, I, I always think that when I meet people for the first time, I'm so scared of the possibility that they think I'm rude or, like, snobby, but, like, just because I'm not, like, saying much. It would also be just as weird to, like, explain, like, I'm so shy. Like, I, I don't want to talk. Okay. Yeah. It's weirder in that voice. But it would, <laughs> it would be weird if I explained, right? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like also you have to go with friends that... Who kind of know you? Like if no, they know you, they have to help yeah, you out. Me, but also. meeting new people. For sure. Yeah. But then if you were like, if you weren't with your friends and like, you, oh, you'd have like, to let's meet say, new yeah, people. Let's say you you know one person and you have to, you're in a situation yeah. where you have to like talk to like other people. You have to like meet other people. I'd be so nervous too though. Dude, right. Right? It is difficult. Like being in a room and only mm-hmm. knowing one person and you'd have to make friends with other people. Right. I don't like know. you have it's no like, choice. Yeah. Right. So and there's I mean, you do your best, also? but then it's like, you're also not yourself mm-hmm. right. completely because, well, they're not going to know you instantly. I mean, first impressions are a thing, mm-hmm. but then, like, the first impression isn't really who you are. Dude, that's so true. Like, I think first impressions are, like, super important, but, like, to, like, a certain point. Yeah. After that, it's just, like, who you actually are is going to be, like, the deciding factor whether, yeah. like, we're going to be friends or not. I think, yeah. you got to peel back the onion, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the person. Th- friendships, it's <laughs> yeah. fine. I mean, like, yeah, there's a person inside the onion. <laughs> the other person needs... <laughs> it's, like, it's just, like, a tiny yeah, human. A tiny in there. human. You got to know that. <laughs> the person. Yeah, it also <laughs> helps if, like, the other person is wants to know you. Because there is really some people That's who really, yeah, yeah. like, especially for, I don't like me. Like, the, you're, you're not going to know me the first time you meet me. So <laughs> the other person needs to also want to Whoa, know Whoa, okay. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. It wa- not Sorry. like that. I'm just saying, like, Oh, no, I'm not like, like oh. what? I was, <laughs> no, I was just reacting. About, yeah. I was just like, whoa. Was just, Tough, tough person here. Yeah. Whoa. No, that's because like I'm shy. So obviously, <laughs> okay, t- she's playing Dude, like yeah, I'm, I'm just shy. shy. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> Plus, like I have sometimes I have a hard time like looking, you know, like making eye contact. Like I shift. Like the first time I'm meeting someone, like my eyes shift to like the wall. Different things. Yeah. I feel like, like what's s- going on around. I feel like sometimes they even look like look away <laughs> to check what. What is she looking at? <laughs> you know, I've had the same thing happen to me as well. <laughs> what is she looking at? Is there something? And there's nothing. And, and then when I actually see them do that, I'm just like, my goodness. Like, I, you know, I get right. even more nervous. Because <laughs> you're like, they notice. Yeah, they oh my notice. God. I'm looking at nervous. nothing. Now, what am I going to do? And, you know, the world is just falling apart. <laughs> yeah. That happens to me when I tell a story to someone. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, in the story, I'm so like enthusiastic. And then when I tell the story, it's like, and if I'm talking to someone in my story, I look at like what's beside me, but there's no one there. And the person <laughs> looks also. And I'm like, no, 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 it's just a story. It's just part of, yeah, I'm just doing actions, you know? But it's not, you don't have to look there. Right. Sorry. So like, give them like a POV at yeah. that point. When it was happening, it yeah. was like this. Yeah. I pointed over there. <laughs> There's nothing there. I just you're so focused. It's like, yeah, and it, cause it's on the side of your brain. You're probably yeah. like, oh. Yeah. Because yeah, I feel like when you're telling a story, you kind of have like a visual in your head. Of exactly. Like, right. And I'm trying to give the happening. person a visual too, like right. as much as I can, but too much, I guess. I guess to like see whether we all have the same like thoughts or opinions on stuff, 
do a little um is it okay or not game yeah mm -hmm. we we have here or, a list you know we yeah. have curated a list yeah we all came curated. up with some ideas so the first one eating in bed hell no yes <gasps> yeah yeah you've done yes yeah, i've definitely oh, done I that know. You, you eat your bed. i definitely eat Dude, bed. definitely yes. not. I would never yeah. eat in my bed. I don't even bring juice next to my bed. Just water, right? Just water. I eat in bed. Like, in my bedroom, like, no food, no sugary, nothing. Just water. I think it's ideal. I think that's to ideal. eat in bed? Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like, what? You're, you, like, what you do is ideal, I think. Because it's just more neat and tidy. But obviously, you know, it probably is growing up, I've done that. So I mean, it's just growing up. I, I I did do that. Yeah. Oh, so, if so you, you just, just grew change out of your it. you, you I, change your ways yeah, for like recently. So, oh, so people can change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> but I think I think it's okay to eat in bed. Well, for me, because you know. I think if it's how, our bed, we can do whatever we want on oh, our bed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. on my bed, I'm not gonna. <laughs> so obviously, eat. obviously, I'm not gonna eat on your bed. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way anyone's eating on my bed. Even like outside clothes, right? What do you think of outside clothes on your bed? You like napping it? on, yeah, or just even your bed. or yeah, just being on your bed. Yeah, like with the outside. You, you come from work. It's been no eight to ten hours. No, no, you don't wear your outside clothes. On no, your... but it happened once. I was exhausted and I just napped, like right away. Yeah, but then you know that was one time, or maybe a couple you, times. You, one time. I, I've done that a lot of times, especially if like. I mean, my work is tiring, yeah. so I, I mean, I understand yeah. if you you do it. Yeah, so I definitely have slept on my bed in outside clothes. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. proud of it, but yeah. And I try to change the sheets after. Mm -hmm. Try, obviously. Keyword try. is try. Yeah, right away though, <laughs> like the next day, or like you sleep there. If I remember, that's why I say try. <laughs> yeah. If I remember, if I and I realize, oh man, I already slept on these sheets with dirty clothes. So I mean, I've definitely like. I slept in my bed with like dirty clothes. Or well, during COVID though, obviously that would never happen. Oh yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah I, I sure. already Lysol mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's everything. The thing, but I really like just change even outside my room. You know, like oh okay, yeah. So you went like really like intense with like the whole yeah thing changing. Like that. Yeah, I mean for me understandable like understandable though. I don't usually like wear my outside clothes to sleep. I never so, do. So like I guess the times that like if I did, then I was like exhausted or drunk or something but like yeah. naturally even if i were drunk i'd change into like some shorts and you know, definitely that, yeah. comfy shirt it gets really like warm at night with like the ac blasting it's 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 hot i can't thick comforter then i sleep with like a flat sheet now because i can't really take the heat. yeah because it's so hot I, I i can't take it i think some people really like i don't know they heat Oh, never mind. Scratch that. I'm not even going to talk. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Peeing in the shower. Yes or no? Yeah. Only if you do it like before you shower though. You know that, what? Wh whatever. Yes. Unpopular opinion maybe. Judge me if you want. But it just makes sense. If you do it before, that's fine. After, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Or towards the end. I mean, and you can, but then just on wash our up again, you know? Like soap. And yeah. And this right, is peeing exactly. on our shower. I'm not talking yeah. about peeing on someone else's yeah. shower. Yeah, no. Whoever says they don't pee on their own shower, I don't know about you guys. You know, I don't think, I don't think you're, you know, that I call bullshit on that. <laughs> I think they're lying. Who has not, yeah. Who has not done that? Please. Right. Anyways. Deny it, but Bianca's coming after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke, guys. Just a joke. She's going to come get you. <laughs> But yeah, peeing in the shower, okay. Also, the just cigarette? as much as you can, for the ladies, stand on top of the, or like close by to your, to the, you know, to the as drain. As close as possible. Yeah. For me, just because like, you know, the thought of, yeah. you know. Like, don't it do it on everywhere. like the ledge where you yeah, put like your shampoo in. Like, I don't know anyone who, who would do that, but like, I mean, not like I've ever seen anyone pee in the shower except myself anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if people were to do that, there's something wrong with them. Like, seriously. Right. That's messed up. Like, also, no pooping in the shower, right? That's oh. Okay, that's something <laughs> else. Whoever... No. Th no. Come on. That that's is, a sure no. That is a sure-ass no. All right. <laughs> that's crazy. Sure. Have you ever lied about having seen a movie? <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah? I think I yeah, have Yeah, definitely. <laughs> or like, maybe I've seen a clip of it or not the whole movie. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but also not all the time. It's like... I it mean, only yeah, happened sure. maybe like a few times a while back because I am 
a movie person now. Like, I watch a lot of movies. I can't recall if I watched the movie sometimes. So I have to, like, tell them, like, unless it's that really also, famous. Though, that too. Then they show me a trailer. I'm like, oh, okay, that's familiar now. But, yeah, I don't think I have ever, like... Dude, sometimes I'll lie about it just because I'm like, you know what? Honestly, I know that, like, I've heard about this movie and it's not really, like, interesting. And I don't really want to talk so much about it. I'm just, and I don't want you guys to, like, explain it to me. So I'm just going to say I've watched it. I really <laughs> that's a smart move, actually. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, just yeah, avoid. Yeah. And I'll just, just go, yeah, like, I, I forgot, like, I don't remember, like, it was so long ago. And there are some movies that I just, like, forgot about because it was so long ago. But a lot of them are, like, I just, I've never seen it. Don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> we continue. Okay, another question. <laughs> I like the way you said continue. <laughs> continue. <laughs> what? <We> continue. Continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you see PDA, yes or no, and in Wait, which like, perspective? Yeah, I was gonna yes. say. I mean, no, both. Like, yeah, both. Depends. So you seeing it and you doing it. I would say yes, yes to both, but then also there are limits. People. Yeah, not too much. There people. are limits. Not too much. Definitely. Right. Like, yeah, we're, do what you yeah. think is okay to be doing, what, like, in front of other people. But that's the thing. Other people, people think differently. That's correct. Because, like, growing up in, in Spain, they uh-huh. I swear, I would walk around and people would be making out in the wall. I, I don't see that here. I don't think I should see that also. But, you know, if it happens, it's whatever. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Go get a room. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> it's a yes, but then there are <laughs> limits. That's all correct. I gotta I agree. say. I think facts. There are definitely limits. You can't just go all out. That's, that's crazy. It's not going to be like they're in the midst of it and be like, this is okay. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> this is fine. All right. So thank you so much for joining us. And I hope we entertain you as much as we entertain ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, that's it for um, this episode. Catch us again next Sunday. Yeah. yeah stay tuned. On the next episode. And again, I'm Tracy. I'm Bianca. I'm Anne. And this is Beyond, Beyond the, the Plot. Plot.